Hello, my name is Iron, and this is Iron's Tech. Welcome back to the channel. Um, about a week ago now, um, I did an unboxing and first impressions video on these, which are the Sony WFC 500 earbuds. Um, I've been using them now, like I said, for about a week and wanted to give some thoughts and feelings on how they've been. Um, I actually completely replaced my usual commuting headphones, which are the the, the over-ear Sony headphones, the XM4s, 1000 XM4s, um, just to see if I could use these as my only my only commuting equipment, I suppose. Um, so let's talk about them. So just first, I've run through some quick specifications of these just to let you know kind of what they are. Um, they are very light little earbuds, as you can see. Um, according to the Sony website, they're 5.4 grams each per bud. And they're closed, dynamic, 5.8 millimeter drivers, near to me and magnets. Their response is 20,000 hertz, sorry, 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Um, they are waterproof to an extent, they're IPX4, and they do support the DSEE Sony upscaling, which actually on these, I noticed more of a difference than on the over-ear headphones. I'll talk a bit more about that later on. Um, to charge these up, it took about from, I mean, I've, I've actually not had to charge these from zero to full. Um, it took about an hour to get them from around 60% up to full. Um, but it says on the website it should take two and a half hours to charge them fully. Um, you get 10 hours of life out of the earbuds and an additional 10 hours out of the box. Okay. Um, they're Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, they support SBC and AAC. And they got about, I'd say maybe 10, 10 meter range. The Sony site says 10 meters effective range for the Bluetooth. I mean, I'd say about that. Um, it does start getting a little bit glitchy at around sort of between eight to 10 meters. But I mean, normally you would wear these and put the phone in your pocket. Um, I mean, what's that, like a meter distance? Um, I don't see that to be much of a problem at all. Um, the case itself, that takes three hours to charge up fully and weighs about 35 grams. So overall, it's very light, easy to carry around. Uh, you get 20 hours of battery life in total from these and they charge from USB-C, which is good stuff. Okay, that's the specifications out of the way. What have I liked about these? So, things I've liked about them. They're small, they're light, um, they have nice controls. Um, all the controls are done through these buttons. These are physical buttons, you can click them. Um, the left-hand side does volume up and volume down. Um, so if you hold it, the volume will actually go down. And if you press it once, the volume goes up a notch. And I took a little while to get used to that, um, but it's actually quite quite good. It's quite intuitive, because if you're listening, you just want to get a bit more volume, just tap it, it goes up. And if you want to drop the volume down to talk, come talk to someone or just to, to reduce the music, you just press and hold it until it goes down to the volume you like. So I actually quite like that. Uh, this side does the, um, the play and the pause of the music and the track skipping. And, you know, it's pretty intuitive. I like that they're physical buttons. It's, you know, the, the touch controls on the XM4s, um, while they're good, they can be a little bit frustrating sometimes. Occasionally I'll, I'll swipe to change the volume and it will change the track. I think it's more about the angle I'm swiping, if anything, but physical buttons, I, I like those. What else do I like? Um, I like the shape, actually, of these. They they do fit quite well in my ear, right? Like this part here fits in into the outside of the ear and then this goes obviously into the ear canal. Um, they do sit quite nicely there. They don't move around or anything. I tried jumping around all over the place and they don't come out. They're pretty, pretty solid. They will stay in my ear. Um, the one thing is these earbuds are quite soft and you know they're, they're made of silicon so they're reasonably comfortable to wear um and i think this is going to take us nicely into the things i, I don't particularly like um these go really far into your ear canal like i've worn 
earbuds before, uh, my Soundcore earbuds, for example, and these go much further into your ear canal. And actually, they, they've been a little bit a little bit irritating, like they've gone a bit too far into my ear canal, and my ear canals have been a little bit irritated. Um, I think wearing them for a, for a bit longer, but my ears would probably get used to having them. But that has been something that's irritated me a bit. Just these these do have to go quite far in to create the seal. Um, the other option is to to move these earbuds up to the next size. So these are the small ones. There's also a medium and a large. If I put the medium ones on. Um, they don't go as far into my canal, which is nice, but then they kind of stick out a bit weirdly from my ears. Um, they just look a bit strange when I'm wearing them. They tend to stay in, um, but they, they hang out of my ear a bit more with the medium buds. Um, I actually am thinking to switch these up to the medium size tips um, just for comfort, just so they don't go so far into my ear canal. Uh, even with them hanging out of my ear a little bit, I don't think they're going to fall out. They're pretty stable. Um, yeah. So just that the tips are a bit, a bit uncomfortable for me. Um, something else that wasn't particularly great was the microphones. Now they're okay. And if there's not too much noise around you, they do a pretty good job. I, I can have a conversation with people. They can hear me fine. If there's noise, if there's things going on, if there's trains going past or cars or things, your voice does get a bit kind of digitized and a bit robot sounding and it can be quite hard to hear people for the price i mean they're they're it's all right i mean they're, they're on amazon now for 98 dollars if i scroll down a little bit they're 69 occasionally they go down in price but but generally i see these around around 100 dollars um and for that price yeah i think i think the microphone's acceptable at that price yeah um so yeah they're just not so good if there's lots of noise in the background but in a quiet place a sensible you know reasonably quiet location the 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 cool quality is acceptable it's good okay so on to the sound these sound quite muddy when you first take them out would be my description of these um it's a similar sound you get to the lower end Sony headphones, or even the mid tier ones to an extent. Um, it's it's a very Sony sound. It's very bottom heavy, quite quite muddy. The the some of the like the the lower mids are kind of covered up by the bass a little bit. It's a bit well muddy is a good description. Um, but I went in and I played with some of the EQ settings because these do have access to the the full Sony app. Um, you can go in and completely change all the EQ. I put them on the excited EQ and then I moved the bass slider down a little bit and I also dropped the the highest um, the highest adjustable frequency band down two notches as well. And then the sound was a lot better. The sound stage opened up, things were in their own place. the muddiness had, had considerably been reduced. Um, and also I could have them on a lower volume setting generally because I brought up some of the other frequencies. Um, and after I did that, after I changed the EQ, these were sounding really good. Like, especially if you're in a quiet place, these, these were sounding surprisingly good for the money. Um, I'm not quite at the level of my, of the XM4s, but very nice. Um, and then when I took them onto the train... They, again, they did a surprisingly good job. Like my commuting is is about it's about two hours, it's about a two hour commute, um, and it's a walk and a bus and a train. And these little earbuds did quite well in all three situations. Um, I was actually surprised at how well they did. Really, um, you've got the walking. Um, you can hear the thud 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 of your footsteps as you walk along, because um, these do completely block the ear canals. So you do hear your body moving and, and noises from your body. And when you put your feet onto the floor, you get the thud coming through. Uh, the xm 4 seem to remove that. The xm 4s noise cancellation takes that away completely. These do not have any noise cancellation. Um, they just have the, the blocked ear canals working as a, as a way to stop sound coming through. And, and in that regard, because they go so deep into your ear canals, they do a pretty good job at getting rid of noise. Like I could hear my music fine on the train, on the bus, 
Um, I purposely sat right at the back of the bus on the engine, so there was the most amount of noise. And I did have to turn them up a little bit more than on the train, but I could hear my music. The bass was a little bit covered up by the engine, but it was there. You could hear it, it sounded pretty good. On the train, I could hear a lot better, these were good. Um, again, a little bit of a rumble coming through from the train, but nothing crazy. And then walking around, these were great. Again, the thud, thud, thud of my footsteps was there, but minimal other noise was getting through because these do seal off your ear canals. Okay, so in summary, um, do I think these are good earbuds? Yes, I do think so. Um, for $100 or less, if you look around a bit, you're getting very nice sounding earbuds for the price. You're getting very good kind of passive isolation from the the tips. Um, three sizes of tips means you can change them to be more comfortable. Um, will they replace my XM4s? Mm, probably not, although I can see myself wearing these when I need to, to move around more or if the weather's bad. I don't really want to wear my you know, expensive on-head headphones in snow or pouring rain or anything. So these will be used in addition to my on-head earphones, not in place of them. I think for a bit of a reasonably budget earbuds, these do a really nice job. Um, the sound after EQing, like I said, good. Um, the, the fact they support the EQ and the app and the, the DSEE upscaling thing is is good for the price, like very impressive. And the battery life with the combined you know, buds and case of 20 hours, that's pretty good. That'll get me through, I mean, at least a week, if not of, of commuting, if not more. Um, so yeah, they're pretty good. I'm liking these. So these are the Sony WFC 500 earbuds. And they're good. My name is Iron. This has been Iron's Tech. And thank you again for watching.